Hey guys, it's Wolf here. Welcome back to the uh, you know channel here and welcome back to my video. So hey, thank you so much for watching. And hey, it's the first day of September, right? Okay, it's September, so four months e this year anymore, uh, you know, left. And uh, so the portfolio that I'm build, so I'm building a portfolio for the next bull run. And I think the next bull run is going, it's going to take at least, you know, a year until the bear market is, uh, you know, done. And you can see here kind of like my drawing here that we are right now here. I think that we're going to have boring lows. I think that we're going to hit the, hit the uh, you know, maybe even new all time lows maybe here. Um, but ultimately, I think that we are going to go back to all time highs and way beyond. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So I think I'm very bullish in that sense. So, la you know, so I started building the portfolio for uh, the bull run here, July 11th. Uh, uh, I bought my first kind of like tokens for this next bull run and started building the portfolio. And uh, you know, I have, I you know, I did, uh, I, I didn't buy, I think that I didn't buy in August, or maybe I bought a little bit, I can't remember. But basically, I, I'm going to buy here in September and uh, I'm going to buy here early this week. Uh, and I'm just waiting for the price to go actually a little bit lower because right now I'm looking at the mac macro. And if you look at, if you have been looking at, well, I've been talking about this a lot, if you have been looking at macroeconomics. For example, right now, if you have been following uh, um, electricity prices, for example, in Europe, for example, in Germany, they are just skyrocketing. And, uh, you know, these have all kinds of like, how, you know, bullwhip, bullwhip effects. Um, and also the supply chain bullwhip effect is still going strong. I've been talking about that one, for example, in chip shortage. And, you know, of course, the war we have and then the inflation and all this stuff. I think that a lot of that stuff might be like already might be priced in, you know. However, I think that what is not priced in is that people actually start losing their jobs because like uh, it's a lagging indicator. That, let me share, uh, share this with you. So it's actually like uh, people, um, com well, companies don't want to let go of their employees because in 2020 when there was covid uh, the companies let their employees uh, had to like uh, let them employees go and then they couldn't get the employees back anymore so right now even though the economy is kind of like going shit right now the, the companies don't want to uh, let go of the employees because they understand that they might not get them back so even though right now the imp like the companies probably would want to get rid of their employees right now they are not getting rid of their employees because they think that they have the PTSD from the 2020 covid okay so that in my in my opinion is a lagging indicator which in lo like uh, mid term is going to i think that the there's going to be that the, uh, you know a lot of people are probably going to lose their jobs and stuff like that and uh you know i think that we are the macro economy is going to get worse before it gets better and so if you have been you know in my email list i talk about this so for example for the bull market to be back on for this to get back on we first need to have some kind of crisis so then the uh, central bank prints money and then the bull run is back on. So I think that before we can go up again in the price, we have to go lower, okay? Which for a long-term investor, I think this is the, just the holy grail of an opportunity. Uh, for opportunities, usually I have learned they don't look like opportunities. They look like, oh, fuck, we are going, we are fucked, guys. But, you know, in long term, you're like, wow, that was such an opportunity. If you look, for example, uh, COVID back in 2020, you know, it was a massive opportunity just like, you know, Look at this. It's great. It was crazy opportunity. Absolutely, absolutely crazy opportunity. Okay. In 2020. So, um, you know, right now we are here. So I'm, I'm thinking that we are definitely going to go down more or, you know, stay with the 1K range, maybe go lower here, you know, in the short, uh, in the midterm. It, it can be that the bear market will be a longer one. Like a one to two years, which would be great. It would be actually, guys, it would be great because we, like what I'm doing, I'm dollar cost averaging in every month. And, uh, you know, I want to buy more, okay? It's 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 patience, it's a process. It's not going to be exciting. It's not going to be fun. If you look at a lot of people, when you go look trending searches, people like this kind of like, this kind of stuff. 
like excitement where bones she bought where you can make a lot of money quickly but this is actually a trap okay um it's 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 kind of kind of like lottery mentality okay so i'm not interested in this i'm more of a long-term investor in blue chip DeFi projects so i'm just buying and then i'm going to sell uh in the next bull run and uh, hopefully I can just keep some of the currencies, uh, you know, tokens so I can, you know, because I want to compound them for the long term. I, I've been talking about this in the in the emails that I've been sending, if you have been watching them. Um, so with that being said, I'm still very bullish. Um, don't get too hang up on the 24 hour chart on what's happening with the price and stuff like that, because it's just uh, it's just noise, in my opinion. And uh, like you can see, within 30 days, we went from 1.5k to 2k to 1.4k right now. Like, it's just noise. It doesn't matter. Like, if you look at long term, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, overall here, if we look at yearly, we are, we are, the trend is strong, you know, downtrend. Look at this strong downtrend. And I think that it's, going just, it's just going to continue. Okay, for for example, Ethereum, and with that being said, and also like right, uh, Ethereum proof of stake is coming in September. It could really like we could it could um you know have some kind of like a you know you know run up because Ethereum is um is going to be better store of value, and I think that it's already is better store store of value than Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, uh, I had a blog, you know, post on my email list that I think that Bitcoin is the only thing that Bitcoin has, in my opinion, is the brand name. But I don't know, man. I'm not a huge fan of Bitcoin. Ethereum uh, has a, you know, fee structure. So you can earn yield. Okay. It, you can build on top of it. Okay, and it's a store of value because you it's a better store of value than Bitcoin because you can build on top of it and you can earn yield, right? Bitcoin is just store of value because um, it has limited amounts, so one twenty one million, right? And then it's like uh, it's decentralized, but it doesn't it can't you can't build on top of it and it can it doesn't you can earn interest on it. So I think that Ethereum is going to win in long term, and that's why I'd like. If you look at my portfolio, you can see my portfolio is like 50% Ethereum, right? So, you know, I think that it's just a safe, safe pick, you know, it's it's just easy in a couple of years, it's going to be at like a 10x. So I like that in a more years, it can even, you know, go further, you know, who knows. But, you know, I think that Ethereum can easily go to 10k, 20k, 30k, 50k. It can, it definitely can. Um, I think that we are still early here. I'm just brain brainlessly just dollar cost averaging in. Well, not so brainlessly right now. I I didn't want to buy, uh, you know, in August because the, the, the it was just so we had this kind of relief rally and then I re kind of like bought in the like before and I kind of like in the mid relief rally. Let me see here. I bought 1.5k and then I bought like 1.7k or something like that. Yeah. So I bought just a little bit here, around 1K, I believe I bought some, because like you can see July 15th, so I started, so here I started building the portfolio, July 11th, so here I bought, bought a little bit, then I bought a little bit more, then I just dark was averaging in, and right now I'm looking forward to buy more here, like you can see, he's a, you know, that's, that's what's up, okay, so here I started dollar cost averaging here here this day okay so right now we have gone up here so i'm just kind of like waiting to buy more because i bought um you know uh a little there so but you know I, it's a process i'm just <clears throat> buying for the long term so you know i don't care i really hope that the prices just keep going down okay at this point and yeah just keep keep pounding at it it's not going to be um it's not going to be easy it's going to be a rough one but it's completely 100 percent uh, worth it just Imagine that just picture this, um, um, you know, you going through this bear market, <clears throat> no matter what it is, no matter what it is, you go through this bear market <clears throat> and in the next bull run, get bull market, you can do whatever the frack you want. Okay. Like whatever you want to do, you can do it. If you want to move to Italy, you can do it. If you want to go to five countries in a month, you can do it. Whatever you want to do, you can do it whatever car, whatever you want. So I think it's worth to suffer. 
this kind of like uh, uh, because it's it's and also it's it's a it's a skill set that you learn through patient uh, long term value investing. So if you suffer it through here and make money here, then you have the money and then you can just do the again because it's a cycle that repeats like you can see. Boom, boom, boom. It's just it will repeat. So, you know, here's kind of like my vision board here. And remember, it's not over until I win. Say that to yourself. Very important. And uh, let's keep going, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, hey, peace out.